Ah! <laughs> that went well. <laughs> but it's got to be cut out in a circle shape. Accurately. <laughs> Accurately, yes. <laughs> An accurate circle shape of that diameter, which we don't know what it is. So that's going to be good. Let's go do that. Technical hitch. Hello, welcome back. It's cold. It's cold. Um, <laughs> we're inside the house today um, because we've got a plan to stop it being so cold. Mm, yeah, move to a two-bed semi in <laughs> Cambridge. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, the, what? <laughs> right. Um, yes, let's go have a look. Okay. Well, going and having a look is just stepping out of the way. <laughs> da, 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 da. So we have our log burner here, which is great, and it gives off loads of heat. Um, but one thing that I have noticed is, I don't know if you can see very well, but it isn't completely out of the fireplace here. Right, okay, so you can see you've got a good, a good portion of it that is out this way, but also this portion over here is not, is inside. And quite a lot of the heat is coming here and then hitting this and going either direction. So it could be going out into the room and it also could be going up the chimney. And we know that some of it, a good portion of it is going up the chimney because if you put your hand on the chimney breast in our bedroom, which is just up here, it is very warm. True. Um, so what we want to do is just stop that heat coming, uh, going up the chimney and make it come into the room. So to that end, uh, here's my template that I've got here. So what we're going to do is build a battle out of this, uh, a fireproof version of this. <laughs> this is just a piece of like, I don't know what it is, sort of like tough cardboard, I don't know. Chipboard, isn't it? No, I don't know, it might be chipboard. I don't know what, don't know what you call this material. It's rubbish, but it's very good for a template. Um, so what we need to do, this fits in here like that, and mm. it's gonna be angled very slightly up there, so that the, given that heat acts a bit like a liquid, it will roll off of this and then into the room. With it. Yeah, <laughs> that's the theory. <laughs> uh, but the trouble is, if you come in here. I can now see that the flue is in the way. The yeah. flue is indeed in the way, so what we've got to do is cut a hole in this template um, so that this can go all the way back and meet the chimney, uh, the, the far chimney wall there. I see. Is it woo poo time? It's woo poo time. It's cuddle a cat time because oh, you're cold. <laughs> cat hot water bottle. There. She doesn't want this to happen. <laughs> she cannot be filmed anyway. No. Go on. Get blue. But, but didn't we have some junk like this in an old house that a previous owner had put in place and it was absolutely rubbish and all it did was amass soot? It will amass soot, yes. But it should work. <laughs> and we just cursed it constantly. Uh, yeah. Some rubbish that yeah. we didn't put in place. We did not do it. No, it was but some you know, guy that thought he was a like jack of all trades, carpenter, chimney sweep. <laughs> so someone more qualified than me, <laughs> essentially, <laughs> is what you were saying. Someone more qualified than you, like tried and died. Beeped it up. <laughs> So we'll do much better then. Eh? <coughs> yep. Okay, let's, let's do go. some measuring. So, can I just point out that the chimney flue is not going to move? So, why the hell have you got a 30 centimetre ruler? Well, I just need something to go like it's there ish and then draw it on here. Yeah, but why don't you get an actual tape measure and measure the distance? What distance? The distance from the left hand wall to the left side of the flue and the right hand wall to the right side of the flue. What, there? Yeah. And then That's you'll know idea. where the flue is. Yeah, but I don't know whereabouts the, the level line is on here either. But, but, but 
You've got things called spirit levels. I'm just going to draw it because that's too complicated. And this is a, <laughs> this is a template, so it doesn't matter if it's wrong. <laughs> it matters if it's wrong if you cut the template into the real thing. Yes, but, you know, do it not too badly to start with. <laughs> Do it not too badly to start with by following my method. Yeah, but if we do like if we do your method, I mean credit where credit's due, but I have to have this completely level and also measure it simultaneously. That sounds difficult. <laughs> no? <laughs> Let's go the shonky route. <laughs> it's not the shonky route. So if you just sort of hold it there, mm -hmm. then I... I'll get you 30 centimetre ruler. There, okay, good. <laughs> good, yeah. <coughs> so now... We Where have are the lines? Here and here. And then we just need to measure um, how much of this to remove is the question. How deep it is. How deep is it? Okay, and so now we just need to measure how deep into this uh, thing we're going to cut, which one we're also going to do with this dodgy ruler method. <laughs> You're just uh, going to like measure sort of how deep it is in yeah. centimetres. So I reckon we're about to, well, depending on where we were measuring it before. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it depends on the angle. Oh man alive. This is like the equations. <laughs> Oh, it's quite handy. It's got little lines on this, this thing. That's how rulers work. <laughs> Not the ruler. <laughs> the cardboard thing. It's got lines on it. <laughs> so you reckon you're going to cut this little square out that you're drawing? That's the plan. And we're going to call it done. But it's got to be cut out in a circle shape. Accurately. <laughs> Accurately, yes. <laughs> An accurate circle shape of that diameter, which we don't know what it is. So that's going to be good. Let's go and do that. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, so here we are in the mess room, uh, which I like to call the workshop. Um, so we've got our trusty pellet drill here um, and a gigantic... But we don't need to drill holes. Hole. Well, we do. We've got a, a gigantic hole-cutting hole thing. Hole maker. Hole maker, which is 150 mil, which is a diameter. We don't know what the actual diameter is. So we're going to do drill a couple of holes with that and then see how we get on. Are we? Yeah. Are we? What? Are we just going to cut this out with scissors? This seems like overkill. This is just a piece of basically thick cardboard. Uh, yes, but when we... It, it does sound like overkill, yes, but if we do it the same way on the template that we're going to do it on the real one. We'll have had some experience in doing it like this before and it should go more smoothly. That's the theory. I don't like it. No. Well, there we are. Right, so then this. Oh, never set that. up ready to go. No. Boring. I haven't got a beautiful assistant. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, it's you. <laughs> Weepoo again. Yeah, I thought it might have been the other one, the elusive one, but oh no, <clears throat> it's the gobby one. <laughs> Yes, well, there we are. Mopo, get your face out. This is not helpful. The whole thing is wobbly, but really is not very helpful at all. No, I imagine not. I don't know how that's happened. Okay. Ancient times <laughs> happened to that pillar drill. Oh, this is useless. This is totally useless. <laughs> Scissors! 
Oh my god, how are you going to cut out the real thing with scissors though? The real thing fell apart with like a Stanley blade swipe. Yeah, but you can't draw a perfectly circular circle. And the... Yes, you can, because we'll have a template. We just draw with a blade around the edge of the template and then pop it out. Job done. Uh, it won't work. It will. It won't. How do you think cakes are made? They're not. I'm going to apply my no cake make... making to this. <laughs> yeah, but... Same principle. Don't you agree, viewers? <laughs> no. It's madness. Are you viewers? You can't draw a circular you... hole of a Creator. cake thing. Why isn't this coming off? Because it's jammed. Oh, it's clamped, clamped on. on. And therein lies the uh, entire crux of our channel. <laughs> Look, it's, give it to me. Take the camera. So. So like, look at it. Well, we need to make sure it isn't going to fly off, darling. You've just said it's sort of hammer mode. <laughs> Stop. Let me take it for a second just to make sure it's done up properly. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? What? How are you supposed to drill anything where I can spin it with my hand holding the drill thing? Right. <laughs> Look, I can just pull it out easily. You've got to actually do it up. Well, you know. There you go. Right. <laughs> Joy. Well, yes, this is going to be all over the place. You're right. Yeah. Whee. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. I yeah. think you need to stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's pokey. Wait, wait. I've got an idea. There we go. No, I don't have an idea. <laughs> Why? 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 Because it's got a lot of friction. Ha! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that went well. <laughs> There you go, it did work after all. But why couldn't I do that? Because you've never done drilling before. <laughs> I have. What? You have. Now we've got a little nugget. bit of toast that won't ever come out. Drill toast. Trapped nugget. There we go. There we are. Ah. Stick on my finger. The trouble is now I've got to drill the hole. No, you haven't. There. Now you've got to cut it. Don't be ridiculous. No, 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 no. I've got to... Look, it, it, I don't know if you've noticed, you can't drill a hole through a hole. <laughs> yes, but it's, we have to. You don't. <laughs> to you can just degree. don't do that. We have to do that. <laughs> That's undone itself. Right, time to stop. So you've basically made a cat flap. Yes, sort of. Nope. Just gonna file these rough edges off. Made a mouse, I'm sort of mouse hole. <laughs> yeah, it's all gone a bit Tom and Jerry. Yeah. So there we, there we go. <laughs> Let's go and see if it fits. Mm, okay. So here we go. Let's see if this <clears throat> fits in the hole. <laughs> go on then. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it does! It's n sort of. is isn't quite... It's touching... It. Oh, I see. There's an obstacle. Is the fireplace wonky? Is it the uh, fireplace's fault? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> well, where do we want it to have it? Ouch. Sort of there-ish. That's actually not bad. I mean, it isn't right against the... The wall, so I think we need a bit more depth on our our hole. So, but excellent. It's centered, so good. that's that's good. That's a miracle, basically. <laughs> yeah, 
There Does we it go. Fit? It fits. Hey. I mean, there's a little bit of wiggle room either side, but all I can see is your hand. Hang on. That's fine. Ah, uh, yes. There we go. Well, isn't that nice? Yeah. Well, that's the template working. That's the template. So <laughs> now to get the piece of proper fireproof thing, doesn't it need spraying as well? Yeah, but not at the minute. Let's go and turn this into the real thing. <gasps> Can we do one of those things, like those moronic things where people put their hands over the camera and then they reveal themselves holding the real thing? <laughs> no, because the comedy is in getting it all wrong. <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> That's true. Let's go. Let's go. OK, so here's the final material. Oh, this is sort of like plasterboard, but it is not plasterboard. It's Firmacell, which is heat proof. Um, so we're going to, hopefully it's as easy to cut as plasterboard. We certainly managed to cut it, didn't we, with a Stanley knife? Yep, yep. We should say that this came uh, double the width when we bought it. So yeah, as Paul is demonstrating. And it would not um, fit in the car. <laughs> well, it would have fitted in the correct car if we'd have driven the van. It would have fitted in the it. van, but we did not drive no, the van. No, so we had to cut it in half um, <laughs> and stuff it in the boot. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't know how easy it's going to be to replicate that success, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, uh, it cut really easily. So yeah, I don't think... It's not going to happen again. But it only, that was only possible because it was so... We cut it down the middle. So we scored it and then we just bent it and it snapped along the score. But to do a little, say you've got to shave off a little tiny bit like that. If you had to shave off a little bit like that, you're never, ever going to be able to do that again. So mm. what I'm going to do is just lay it on the ground here. Why aren't we using your machine upstairs, your good band saw thing? Because it's not good for cutting gigantic sections like that. Really? It's only good for cutting like this. But don't. Wait a minute, didn't we buy an entirely nice yeah. shiny new saw? That thing there that I've been using today, in fact, off camera. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Yes, okay. Right. So, good. That's nice and straight, that's good to know. Uh... Mm-hmm. Does that show up? Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Don't forget to draw your little arch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Me little arch. <coughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> the moment of truth. I say lie it on the workbench and hi it. No, we don't need to do that. We can just do this instead. Oh Lord. <laughs> we just put that there so it's got a nice bit to break along and then we can push on it and mm -hmm. then just pray that it's going to work. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one. I mean, I heard a thing happen. Something happened. Yeah. Hey. The difficult bit is this. Mm. <coughs> I bet we could do the same thing again. So we decided to do it properly on second thoughts uh, with the tool that's designed for the very job in hand. Yeah. We've got this track set up, so hopefully the cut will be straight. Okay. Let's go. Do it. Do I need one of them? I don't have one of them. No, well, just don't breathe. <laughs> Technical hitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, we hit the um, guide. I'm uh, back in a minute. <laughs> oh, man, it's like an 80s music video now. <laughs> mm. 
lovely. Yeah, we need um, some sort of ventilation in this room, don't we? <laughs> See if it matches. <laughs> it's actually a bit smaller. So yeah. No, and, a bit, and a bit not in the same place. <laughs> <laughs> let's go and offer it up and see how it is in reality. Right, let's see how we did. Okay. <laughs> Go Hopefully on. this doesn't snap because it oh, was quite no. heavy. I was a bit worried about that. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Kapow, snap. Actually, that's not bad. Call it done. That's in. <laughs> Don't start nibbling no, at it. No, no, I'm not going to nibble. Right, Excellent. what we need to do now is to mark where we're going to drill the holes. Good. And how are we doing that? <laughs> I don't have thought about that. <laughs> okay, uh, it's day two. We've got new clothes on, presumably. <laughs> um, For what? I haven't checked. <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird statement to make. <laughs> I would check if I look the same. I guess I do look similar, but never mind. It's a different shirt. Um, anyway, uh, so where we left it was we got our template and it usually it looks like it's fitting. Um, so now we need to drill some holes. Yes, yes. And to drill the holes, we've got some new drill bits, courtesy of my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> and my parents, in fact. So that's fantastic. Should be able to actually drill a hole without sitting there for 20 hours going, why oh, won't this go in? <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah, we've to use the Oh no, it's actually going in. A miracle. <laughs> yeah, we've gone in that far. Okay, so the holes are drilled, the thingamies are in. Hooks. Hooks. So let's see if it fits. Ooh. <laughs> yep, we decided drilling holes on camera was very dull. <laughs> right, that's there. Whoopsie, that's not there. Is there? Yes, that is there. Excellent work. Okay, good. That's resting on its mounting points. Okay. So... Brackets? Yes. Yes, brackets. Oh, look at that. It might mm. actually fit. Whoa. Imagine and be... That. A good fit at that. It's in. Look at that. Hey, set myself to party mode. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> party time. Hey. <laughs> that's in, so that's a good job. Yeah. <laughs> now we've got to spray paint it. Oh, so it's all got to come back out again? It's got to come back out again, yeah. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Off you go then. Off we go. <laughs> Okay, so it's the next day. Um, I sprayed the baffle, so let's see if I sprayed the right side because I only sprayed one side. <laughs> <laughs> Good fingers. <laughs> Good pointy action there. Yep. Here it is. Oh, there it is, but is it the right side? It's the right side. It's a good question. There we go. It's the right side. Look at that. Very good. Hang on, I'm coming in. Well, you can't see anything because it's black. It's black, so that's great. <laughs> so there we go. It is in place. I put a little bracket there in the middle to stop it from sagging down. 
I extended this bracket up over here because I wasn't happy with the fitment of it. It's all screwed in at the back and it looks neat as a pin. Really happy with the way this has turned out. Uh, let's go and have a look at what it looks like from where we normally sit. Okay. Yeah, you can't see anything. Yeah. Basically. Totally <laughs> invisible. Yep. And that is what we like. Okay, so there we go. The proof's going to be in the pudding. Um, whether it actually makes the room warm, warmer or not, we'll have to let mm. you know about that. Uh, but for now, that's it. Um, hope you yep. enjoyed this episode. Things went smoothly, mostly, yes. which is a, a change from the norm. Yeah, I enjoyed this episode. You didn't do anything. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> unlike the last one. <laughs> uh, yeah, but anyway, um, share us around, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. See you next time. <laughs>